what's up. So I've just been sitting here doing nothing all day. Pretty bored. Oh, I did some computer work. That's a lot. Uh, I've had two naps. I washed my hair and now we're on to meal four. So I've got two more meals left, but this is kind of what it's been for the last day. We've got egg whites, some asparagus, and a little bit of a couple green beans. And now we're up to an English muffin and a half. So we're still trying to fill out, continue to dry out. I'm doing like four ounces of water at a time, up to 42 ounces today, um, like a liter and a half-ish. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, today has been exceptionally boring. Um, have not left the hotel room yet. But tomorrow I have a few things to do. Uh, photo shoot in the morning, uh, and then athlete meeting and all that. So I will take you along with that, but this is two days out, carbon up. Oh, here we go, coming at ya. Turkey, fish, asparagus, muffs. And I put my water with some dandelion tea in the freezer and it froze really quickly, but there we go. Meal number five. Don't be jealous. We are shaved and looking good. That's the tub. So I like to still do my Epsom salts and baking soda baths. So again, when I ordered my Amazon to the hotel room, that, and I just used up the last of the Epsom salts. I didn't even mean to buy eucalyptus, but it was quite nice. Although I would have rather have gotten lavender, but that's okay. So we are now shaved and ready for tomorrow when I get my first coat of tan. So funny things that you don't really think about when you are prepping and getting leaner and leaner and leaner is that the little nooks and crannies in like your armpits and in around your knees, they, they're like a hazard. So you cut yourself. So, so like around my knee, I don't know if you can see, it's just, or like my armpit is more of a cavern. You can kind of see that. So like when you're trying to shave, now I get laser in my armpits, which has been the best investment ever, but I don't have laser on my knees quite yet. I'm working on my legs. Um, it takes a few more sessions. It's a bigger body part, but yeah. So just be careful when you're cutting yourself or shaving yourself that you don't cut yourself. Um, but yeah, so shaved. And now I think we still have one more meal. This is my last night in the hotel alone. So I will get a partner in crime. Robin and her husband are coming tomorrow. So I won't be alone. So I have to clean up all the shit that I have around. <laughs> Last meal of the day. Eggs, salad. Happy girl, I feel okay. I feel like I'm filling out despite what my face looks like. So we are going to eat this and then probably head to bed shortly after. So stay tuned for tomorrow. More exciting things, athlete meeting tan. We'll see. Good morning, hungry homies. One day out. Check in with coach. Fuller. Flat a little bit still, but better than better than yesterday. I'm going to have breakfast soon. I have a photo shoot at the hotel and I will hopefully be able to take you along for that. Other than that, yeah, today the festivities start. So breakfast, photo shoot, come home for a bit, home, hotel home, uh, athlete meeting, tan, ah, and then we chill out and do nothing. And my best friend Robin's coming and so, and her husband. So I'll have some more company in the hotel and I will keep you posted. So, breakfast time. We are doing egg whites and asparagus. And 
egg whites, asparagus, and one and a half English muffins. I even treat the hotel like it's my house. I did dishes last night, except for that. Just makes it so much nicer when you're a little bit cleaned up. Opting to go with the egg whites is just sitting a little bit nicer in my tum tum. And I choose to do whole egg egg whites uh, because sometimes the liquid, um, too much of it just upsets my tummy. So, and I think that's pretty common. Although I'm a freaking savage. And normally I would give the yolk to my dog, but she's not here. We're just gonna do four. I don't really need the protein. It tastes good, but don't need it. I'm not gaining any muscles right now. That's for sure. Got some. Asparagus that was already steamed in the microwave. Oop, 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 oop. What am I doing? Um, sometimes the eggs pop, and to minimize cleanup, just put a paper towel over it. Boop. So we're gonna do asparagus. Oh, I'm really hungry. All right. Oh, shit. That's not good. No, oh, no, no, there's crumbs everywhere. Fixed. One and a half. be cooking. Um, no salt, same water as yesterday. Um, and that's that. Stay tuned. Coffee definitely brought me life this morning. So I put a little dandelion root tea bag in there too, just for a little extra water depletion. But I actually really like just the taste of it. Kind of tastes like grass. So yeah, just um, six ounces of water. All measured. Um, digestive enzymes. This thing's really handy. It like opens up so in case you have like a plate that's bigger and it's nice and compact. Perfect. Okay, et voila. And I'm gonna sit and eat this. Ooh, the sun's coming up. watch the sunrise, watch some YouTube. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube, I don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm not like a fancy YouTuber. I don't have a lot of money, so I don't have anyone following me around with a, you know, fancy schmancy camera. So it's all just me. I edit, I do everything. So support the little guy 
Um, but I would very much appreciate if you were subscribed. So please do that. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this tablespoon of sugar-free ketchup just for a little bit of flavor. And I'm gonna rest, take pictures for coach an hour after I eat and carry on with my day. Stay tuned. Back at it, meal number two. Um, a little earlier than I want to, but again, like I have the photo shoot, so I want to be able to um, eat and then an hour afterwards take pictures for the coach. Uh, just waiting for my muffins to toast. Uh, four ounces of water again, and whoop, and there we go. Oh, they need more more time for the puppies. And I have another Instacart order coming <laughs> because TSA took my nail polish and I have to paint my toes. So uh, waiting for my Instacart order to come. It's also got another carton of eggs in there and a couple treats for the babe. So yeah, meal two, carbon up, one day out. A few more rice cakes because I'm bringing some rice cakes to a friend over at the other uh, hotel. So rice cakes. I'll give her three packs. And then I'll use two because I've got lots of muffins. So more rice cakes, and this is good. Uh, we have the eggs. Because eggs are sitting well, like I've mentioned. And these are just some treats. I need coffee uh, for an espresso. It's like a dollar or something. Espresso for show. These are for boyfriend. And this is for a friend back home. Hopefully I have room. Might have to check her bag. And don't look. <laughs> And nail polish because GSA took my nail polish for the toes. And I needed a pair of baggy pants. I did not think that I would need. These are probably gonna be way too big, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, <laughs> they're a bit big, but that's okay. Um, I'll just tie a knot in them. And voila, there we go. That is the Instacart haul. Good morning, hungry homies. It's show day. So I have awoken. I have taken pictures for Coach. Uh, he likey. So we are feeling good. About to have my first meal. It is very early. It's like 3.30 in the morning. I haven't really sleep much. I mean, I did, but um, so yeah, we're gonna eat. And then we are gonna go head over to the venue probably around 5.15. I have makeup at 5.30 and then they're doing a first come first serve for tan. So I will get in line for that around six o'clock and we're probably just gonna, oh, just gonna stay at the venue because it's easy. Um, and then we don't have to pay for parking twice and stay tuned. <laughs>
bougie hotel. It's so expensive. I'm stuck in New Jersey. SOS. All right. This is the bathroom. <laughs> this is probably like the nicest hotel I've ever stayed at. Expensive snacks. I get complimentary water. Guys. <laughs> and I think that's New York. The skyline. Because I'm in New Jersey. Whoa. Well, let me explain while I'm, why I'm in another hotel room. So the show was not what I had hoped for, obviously. It was probably my worst uh, pro showing, um, embarrassingly so. Um, not in that like I was lean, conditioned. I probably was one of the most conditioned ones out there. I just don't have the size right now. So pretty defeated. Um, why I'm in New Jersey is because when I left Tampa, there was a tropical storm and I don't know if they're related, but basically um, it's been very bad weather all up kind of like East Coast, I guess, because my flight, when I arrived from Tampa to Newark, um, immediately was canceled into Montreal. And then I got rerouted to do Newark to Pittsburgh. And so I like, had to like book it across the airport to go to a different uh, gate, different airline. Um, and then we got on the plane and they like taxied and we sat on the tarmac for about an hour and 15 minutes when they decided that air traffic control said that they were not letting anyone off because of bad weather. So over like probably about an hour and a half, close to two hours, we were on the tarmac trying to find a way into Pittsburgh, which was like backwards from where I live. So it didn't make any sense. So they deplaned us, we got off and uh, the young lady at the United Air Desk, United Line Airline Desk, super helpful. She was great. And I feel so badly for them because everyone's in a horrible mood because they've got rerouted or their flights got canceled or whatever. So she was amazing. And she basically rebooked me with the same schedule, but the next day. So I had to very quickly, um, book a hotel room. And so I am in New Jersey for a night. So I fly out tomorrow to finally go back home um, at like 5 p.m. So I've got some time. I'm going to try to sleep in. But anyway, that is why I'm here. And I wanted to explain why it was not my best showing. I just need more size. So um, I'm going to do one more show. We're going to go to Tupelo, Mississippi in two weeks or a little less than two weeks. Um, and I'll compete there and then I'll pack it in for the season. I'm going to do two below because it's already paid for. And, uh, but after that, I was going to do one more show. I've decided against it. There's no point. I need to put on size. So we are going to start the process of getting bigger. I'd like like four to five pounds of lean tissue. And I know that's a lot to ask for, and it's going to be a lot of work. And, um, I'm going to have to eat a lot of food, but that's what's going to have to happen. So. For now, I am going to enjoy this salad because we are back on prep and we've got some stuff to do. called making breakfast in a hotel with no microwave. Oh my God, it's still lightning. Anyway, with no microwave, just a bar fridge and deli meat. So I have this container because I thought I was being smart and I bought two salads yesterday at the, the airport because I knew, oh, flight canceled. I'm gonna need some more food. So and it was a really good salad, so I bought extra like another salad but of course I should have been home last night at 11 p.m. 
and instead it's the next day. So this I bought in and it's coming down to its last legs here. So I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. And then we've got some semi-decent turkey deli meat. It's not, it actually tastes pretty bad. So because I like my turkey in my salad, we're gonna just rip it up. A few pieces of that. I'm still shaking from my workout because that was the first time I've worked out since like last Wednesday or last Tuesday. So, so we're gonna shred up, shred up this turkey. And I ordered Instacart last night and I found my sweet with heat mustard, just the American version. And we're gonna duplicate. kind of the same thing. So there you go. That looks freaking disgusting. So. <laughs> so that's New York City in the far background there. And I'm pretty sure I'm still seeing lightning in those clouds. So it's still storming. That's crazy. I am still stuck in the United States. Uh, my flight got canceled again into Montreal and um, Air Canada just keeps canceling every flight. So I was on a standby briefly. Um, that's not looking good. So I am gonna fly out tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., fingers crossed, and we will see. I mean, there's a lot of storms happening right now, but this has been so maddening and I have spent so much money. This time I'm at the airport hotel, it's maybe $80 less money to stay here than at the other Marriott that I was at. So yeah, this has been outrageous. It's been like 48 hours and I'm still not home. I have not left. I might as well just become a resident. So, ah. Uh. This has made this second prep in very challenging. I'm not, I mean, I have a, I have a little bit of food left, um, no money left and a gym. So we're gonna keep on rolling here. So this hotel is certainly not nearly as good as the other hotel I was at, even though it's like $80 less than the other hotel. Um, it smells, uh, there's no fridge. I think I have a coffee maker. I have not seen where the coffee is though. Um, yeah, so, so far it sucks. So what I did for the fact that I don't have a fridge is the ice machine is down the hall. So I threw all the rest of my proteins in this guy. And then I went down to the hotel restaurant just to get, I was like, can I have a bowl? So they have like takeout plates, <laughs> but they gave me real cutlery. So that's nice. So I'm gonna steal that. And then I bought, again, Instacart. I have probably spent like $60 a day in Instacart food, just so I have enough protein and random vegetables. Um, so yeah, I'm running out of protein. I should have enough vegetables. I bought a salad again at the airport and an extra chicken breast. This is insane. This is so crazy. This is, this is the salad that I'm ending up making. That, this, it's almost laughable at this point, but if I weren't so pissed off and completely defeated, I'd be laughing, but I'm borderline tears. All right, back from the gym. Yes, I am wearing the same workout clothes because I'm running out of underwear. Anyway, I ordered my other Instacart order from Mr. Angel. So thing of water, because I'm tired of drinking fucking tap water right now. But the cool thing about shopping in different cities is that you get to try out different grocery stores and one of my favorite pastimes is actually grocery shopping in other cities just to see what they have. Unfortunately I can't do the grocery shopping right now because I don't have a vehicle um, but someone else can do it for me. So we got more turkey. Unfortunately I don't have anything to cook this turkey with so I'm just getting like roasted shaved deli turkey so like as natural as I can get it. 
Um, I did not realize it was this big, but this giant salad. So I'll break that down, I guess. And my usual, just a Diet Coke, because I want it. But this is a really nice bag, and I will be traveling with this tomorrow. So, yep. Uh, yeah, did another workout. I guess the one benefit of not being able to have all a bunch of yummy goodies after a show or like the temptation of yummy goodies, um, it's not there. So I'm still lean and I haven't ballooned up, but I do have another show coming up. So I am being very good and I'm doing my best to get in uh, a couple workouts. Tomorrow my flight is very, very early, so I won't be um, doing much in the morning because I have to be out of the hotel at like 4 a.m to get to the airport. So I got in a second workout today just to kind of fulfill some activity points on my Apple watch. So thanks guys, stay tuned. This is gonna be a long vlog because it's like gonna be like two minute snippets throughout the whole thing. I made it back to Canada. It's very early still. It was like a four o'clock flight and now I'm at the airport at 8 a.m. and people are already eating pizza.